trying to knock off the number two player in the world. This is on clay. Her record is two and one. That's favorable and nice. Oh, it went right to the spot as she bunts it back. Yeah, this is this is going to be an interesting match to watch because already we can see Sharif just does not give you any sort of rhythm and Sabalenka likes the power hitting. She I found the line wow. as well. Another oh. line. Was well struck. Yeah, she just continues to thrive when it matters most here, just undaunted by the occasion. And just needs a second set point, six minutes after her first, to take the opening set. Magnificent effort, and the numbers will bear it out when we show the stats a bit later. But first things first, how about Mayor Sharif in her first WTA 1000 quarterfinal, showing the number two what it's all about. Much, much better from Sabalenka from the very first forehand. And then four straight from Sabalenka to start the second set also results in a break. It's a bad combination. Well done. Good patience on that ball. He can attack. Play go. Seven. Eight. That'll do it. And they'll trade scores from one set to the other. Identical numbers. Just an extra minute needed for Sabalenka to take set number two, but they are very much on even terms. And she looks to continue her comeback. It was probably her weakest game of the match so far when she had that lead at 2-1 and, and just couldn't convert. She made a few unforced errors and allowed Sabalenka a little bit of an opening. Yeah, just striking a lot more true. Wow, that's good. As she tries to hang on here in game four. Fuego, and she won't have it. She was still without a hold. And in exactly two hours, Sabalenka delivers the final blow. Well, far from a perfect performance, Marina Sabalenka remains perfect. A perfect 9-0 in clay court quarterfinals as she returns to the semifinals in Madrid for the second time in three years. A sterling effort in sets two and three as she dismisses Sharif 2-6, 6-2, 6-1 in 120 minutes.